What is going on everybody? Welcome back, MTG here with another episode. If you're new to the channel, hi there. So I've got the OnePlus 12 and the Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra. In one of my past videos, I had the vanilla Galaxy S24, but it looks like many of you want to see uh, a video talking about these two particular devices, OnePlus 12 and S24 Ultra, and which one is going to top out, which one is better. And here's the thing, I've also noticed in my comments recently, and it's, it's more of a preference choice, which one you personally prefer, and yes, I'm going to share with you guys which one I would personally prefer over the other. Now here's the thing, Samsung does some things better than OnePlus, and OnePlus does some things better than Samsung. Uh, but in, in reality, I'm going to have to end up choosing one over the other that I would just personally want to use. And I'm going to start things off with design. And these are things that I have noticed and seen and, uh, by using both of these devices. So as you can tell, S24 Ultra has a more of a boxier, rectangular uh, shape, whereas the OnePlus 12 is rounded. It has rounded corners. Um, it has a rounded camera cutout. It has this marble type of feel on the back, which feels really nice. There is no titanium that goes around it. There is USB-C, obviously. It does have wireless charging. We're going to get to charging and battery uh, later on in the video. But this has become OnePlus's iconic design for the OnePlus 10, 11, and now the OnePlus 12. And overall, it feels really good in the hand. If you look up front, it has a curved display, 6.8 two inch quad HD 120 hertz uh, display with a max peak brightness of 4,500 nits. And then we come to the Galaxy S24 Ultra, a max uh, 2,500 nits up front with a fully flat display. They decided to go flat this year, uh, titanium frame all around. It's got the addition of the S Pen. Uh, it's got also an iconic design with individual camera cutouts. And this looks very similar to its two-year-old prede predecessor, the Galaxy S22 Ultra. Uh, it's got very thin bezels all around as well. And it feels also really good in the hand. But it ultimately comes down to which one would you prefer? And for me, I personally prefer flat displays. And the Galaxy S24 has that. Now I know this doesn't really have any issues. Like I've used the OnePlus 12 uh, and there's no accidental touches here and there. But I, I don't know. I just like having a flat display. Again, this is a preference for me. If you like curved displays, that's fine. Like this is a great display and a great uh, design and build to it. And yes, 4,500 nits of peak brightness on the OnePlus 12 and 2,500 on the Galaxy S24 max peak brightness. And I got to tell you this though, when viewing content or playing games or maybe like the new Call of Duty uh, Warzone mobile that I've downloaded, but I have yet to try, uh, if you're doing things like that, you're going to enjoy on both of these devices. Again, it comes down to preference, which ones you prefer. I'm going to go with the Galaxy S24 Ultra because I just like this more boxier feel and the titanium frame. I just, I don't know, it feels a little bit more premium in the hand. And yes, I did pay more for the S24 Ultra, so I do expect to get a really good build. Um, I don't know, it's just... I, I've been a Samsung, I've using, been using Samsung devices uh, ever since the Galaxy S. So it also just holds a special place in my heart. But this design and just having the S, plan, S Pen, the addition there also boosts the reason why I like this. Um, and individual camera cutouts, I like that too. But let's head on to the performance. And this is where things uh, are very, very similar. And I would kind of call it a, a tie. Um, so with the performance, we're getting Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 with 16 gigs of RAM on the OnePlus 12 and 12 gigs of RAM on the Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra. 256 gigs of storage on my OnePlus 12 and half terabytes. So 512 gigs of storage on the Galaxy S24 Ultra. And day to day, I've had no issues, no hiccups whatsoever on either of these devices. So in that aspect, I can recommend both of them. When it comes to the software and with all the AI additions, Samsung definitely has more AI uh, features built into the software, but I just love how well One UI has really been. Now, Oxygen OS has been doing really well, and this is running Android 14, Oxygen OS 14 as well. 
but I just like the look and feel for me of One UI 6.1. Again, it comes down to a preference thing. Which one you would you prefer? I just like, uh, it's probably one of my favorite custom OEMs. And before I didn't really like Samsung's uh, skin before. I had TouchWiz UI, then I had, um, I forgot the other one before, One UI. Um, Samsung Experience may have been called that. I can't recall what it was, um, but I wasn't too much of a fan using that. But with One UI, things have changed and I really like, for example, like I have not been able to customize my um, icons right here to the same color of the wallpaper that I use, which is kind of aggravating. And if there is a way, let me know in the comments down below for the OnePlus 12, I'd really appreciate it. But I just haven't been able to figure it out. With this, you automatically, you can pretty much color code your icons to your wallpaper. And I like that. I really do. Um, but nonetheless, Oxygen OS 14 is also still really smooth and it does add with the performance. And that's a huge thing with OnePlus. They pay very, very important attention and put in detail with their performance. Again, no hiccups, no issues, bugs whatsoever. And it has more RAM. It may not have half a terabyte of storage. That's okay. Like I, I don't use a half terabyte of storage anyway on my S24 Ultra. So 256 gigs is plenty for me as a heavy user and also for just the average user. I'm also going to talk about uh, software updates. We're getting seven years of software updates with the S24 Ultra and four years with the OnePlus 12. And OnePlus has their own justification of why they don't want to go more than four years of software updates. And I kind of understand. But just having seven years, like imagine using this device in 2030, Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra. And... I can see that happen, and here's why. I feel like we've hit like peak smartphone. We've gotten so good with like the displays, uh, the performance, the cameras. Like in seven years, are we going to see a huge, even a huger peak or a larger peak um, or a huge leap forward? Let's put it that way, huge leap forward in the camera quality, in the display, or in the design. I'm not too sure. I Obviously, I can't predict the future, but I still think using this device, I can imagine using it in 2030 would still be a, a thing you can still use in 2030. And you would be able to use a OnePlus 12 in 2030, but OnePlus just won't uh, offer software updates after four years. So do keep that in mind. If you're thinking about using these devices one or the other uh, long term, do keep that in mind as well. And Samsung has been really good with pushing on software updates. Let's talk about cameras, which is usually the most controversial part of these types of videos. And here's the thing, I'm not a smartphone camera guy. Like I am not pulling out my smartphone to take lots of photos. So even if I was rocking like the nothing 2A, I'd probably be fine with the camera quality. Yes, I mean, if you put it side by side next to one of these phones, yeah, I'm gonna choose these phones over the nothing 2A. I can tell that quality apart. Um, but if I'm just given a phone, just one phone using that, I'll be perfectly fine. Like I'm not too nitpicky on my camera quality, but I put both of these and I took camera comparisons, took some photos side by side and yeah, I'm putting them side. When I look at them, I like how Samsung takes their photos better. Again, this is a preference. It's not a fact. It's not like, oh, Samsung is definitely better than one plus, but I just like how they look and you can agree or you may not, that's okay. And look, I used the OnePlus as my main daily driver like five years ago with the OnePlus 7 Pro. And there were better cameras out on the market. There was the iPhone 11 Pro in 2019. Uh, there was a Galaxy S10 series that took better photos than the OnePlus 7 Pro. Uh, and that's okay. I still use the OnePlus 7 Pro and I still use the camera when I needed to. That's perfectly okay. With this, I just personally would prefer the Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra and the fact that 100X still is amazing. Like I, when I took this with me on my trip to Turkey uh, to Istanbul, it was awesome. Like 100X Zoom, it's usable. Before it wasn't, but now it is. I can use it. Uh, the 5X uh, Zoom is also really smooth and really clean. I just, you know, good job, Samsung. Good job. OnePlus, seriously though, you guys, good job as well. Um, and hopefully, you know, 
they'll continue to improve with their camera quality. Again, it's a preference thing. I personally prefer the Galaxy S24 Ultra. So for those of you in the comments down below, go ahead and comment whatever you want. But again, like I appreciate your, your feedback and I appreciate your preference and I have respect for your preference. So I, I hope you guys have respect for my preference too. Uh, moving on into the battery department with the battery life and the charging speeds and whatnot. And before I do, just a huge shout out to uh, the case I use for the Galaxy S24. This is Banks, it has MagSafe right here. So if you want MagSafe up your Galaxy S24 Ultra, I'll be leaving a link in the description down below. It's got like this real, it's practical, it's thin, it's clean. It's got a little camera bump right here to protect the cameras. I like it, I've been using it uh, since I've gotten the S24 Ultra. And for OnePlus, I'm using their stock. I think this is like the sandstone, uh, their iconic uh, texture case. Well, it was on their smartphone, the OnePlus One, but now it's as a case and I really like it. Uh, I got this from a OnePlus official website. Anyway, the battery life on this and the battery uh, charging speeds and whatnot, here's the thing. They are beasts with battery life, especially with the standby time OnePlus nails it with the Galaxy S24 Ultra. Like here, I'll put it this way, the Galaxy S24 Ultra will last like four or five days if I don't touch it. Uh, but the OnePlus One literally will last like a week, more than a week by not using it at all whatsoever. In that, in that aspect, it's really good. Uh, how long does it last during a day? For me, the Galaxy S24 Ultra has edged out just a little bit by like an extra 45 minutes with screen on time. I'm getting about like seven-ish uh, hours of screen on time with both, but just towards eight with the Galaxy S24 Ultra. I believe this OnePlus, um, if I'm not mistaken, the OnePlus 12 does come with a 5,400 million power battery. So a larger capacity than the Galaxy S24 Ultra, still equipped with a 5,000 million power battery. However, this co does come equipped with a 80 watt SuperVoo charging adapter um, in the box, but I do believe you can go up to 100 watts. But nonetheless, like I've been using 80 watts, I've been using my 50 watt wireless charging with my AirVoo right here, and I gotta say, like this thing is awesome. Like the charging speeds, I don't need to worry about charging this at night. I wake up in the morning, put it on charge, get ready. By the time I'm ready to head out the door, my, my phone is already fully charged. Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra, I gotta wait a little bit longer. Like if I'm if it's gonna take me a while to get out of the house, like I'm gonna have breakfast or whatnot, yeah, I'll put it in charge, you know, have my breakfast, maybe take write some emails, response to some emails, uh, you know, change my clothes and get ready and then I'm out and by that time, you know, it's at 100%, but the OnePlus 12 charging speeds, amazing. Zero to 100 in like 28 minutes, whereas S24 Ultra, zero to 100 in about one hour. Uh, so do keep that in mind. Charging speeds, I think uh, with the Galaxy S24 Ultra, it is about 45 watts and then wireless is even less. So do keep that in mind. You're only gonna be getting 50 watts wireless charging with the AirVook. So also do keep that in mind with the OnePlus 12. If you use a, just a uh, regular wireless charger, you're not gonna be getting 50 watts charging speed. So do keep that in mind. But overall, they perform really well. And I, I think OnePlus, with great battery life and with the great charging speeds, edges out in the battery department. Again, something OnePlus has been really good with. And then let's talk about the price. So 16 gigs of RAM and 512 gigs of storage is the model I have. $899 if you want to get the base, $799. The Galaxy S24 Ultra starts at $1299 and then just goes up from there. So yeah, you're paying for a premium phone at a great price. And when you compare this to the Galaxy S24 Ultra, of course, it's going to perform much better. It's, it's a much better deal, I'll put it that way. Uh, with Here's the thing though, with my final thoughts, which one am I going to choose? Overall, I will still choose the Galaxy S24 Ultra. For me, it's, I felt more comfortable, more, it's been more reliable for me. Battery life has, while it, you know, it doesn't have faster charging speeds, still performs a little bit better in the battery department. I, I personally prefer the flat display. I love the titanium build with it. Um, the cameras, yes, they do perform better. The 100X zoom, I use it, and I've been using it more than I had originally anticipated. Uh, and it, it definitely, I just love having this 
premium feeling phone. And while the OnePlus 12 is premium, this just feels a little bit more premium. So for me, again, like, yeah, I'm gonna prefer the Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra, but which one would I prefer to the average consumer? To most people, I'm gonna say the OnePlus 12, and here's why. Great battery life, great battery charging speeds, great price, good camera, uh, awesome performance, really nice build for $799, $899. You're not gonna be, you're paying like three, $400 less than what you would if you went with the Galaxy S24 Ultra. So yes, my choice is the Galaxy S24 Ultra, but the choice that I would recommend to most people is going to be the OnePlus 12. So yeah, there you have it. This maybe was like a little bit different because I, I really wanna preface that these types of comparison videos have a little bit of my preference in there, as well as my other review videos and you know videos I talk about with devices. I'm putting in my opinions and my preference, and I think that's what makes us unique. But I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, be sure to Superman and like button, comment down below, and best of all, share this video because it really does help out the channel a lot. Will help push my content out to more people, and also definitely be sure to check out my wallpaper pack. I'll be leaving a link in the description down below. It is called Urban Glow. I really like how this one came out. Again, links will be in the description down below for devices, cases, wallpaper packs, and my other merchandise. That's been all for me. I'll catch you guys in the next episode.